Hello everyone. This is a lesson on exchange rate. The exchange rate it has to do with a currency, money. From one country to another, the currency is not the same. For example, one dollar is equal to fifteen and fifty-nine cents. So when you go to America, you have to change your rents to dollars, and you lose the scale. Okay, I'm gonna show you a method, and I think I feel like it's an easier method of how you go about. So I'm gonna do the first example. Okay. When you have 4,800 rands, you want to change it into dollars. What you do, you write the exchange rate that you are given first. You will be given that in an exam, in a question paper. One dollar is equal to 15 rand, 59 cents. The next thing, you write whatever you have under whatever. You see here, I have rands. So I'm going to write the rands under the rands. 4,800. Right? And then the method is, you take... You go to your left hand side. This is my left hand side. And then you take the the smaller the, the bottomest number and then you multiply with the, you divide first. Divide first, then multiply. And you go anti-clockwise, the opposite direction of a clock. You take the lowest number, divide, then multiply. And it works every time. So four thousand eight hundred. Divide 15.59 multiplied by 1. So your answer is in dollars. Your answer is in dollars. Let me use a blue pen. I've lost it. 0.800. Divide 15.59 multiply by 1 is 307 dollars 89 cents. So, because we'll be writing with one color, underline that answer so that somebody who's marking your script will see the answer. Okay, let's look at an, another example where you are given dollars, you are changing them to rents. Our second example is when we have $500 and then you are asked to change them to rents. You write the scale, the exchange rate, $1 is equal to 15 rand, 59 cents. And then what do you have now? You have dollars, so you're going to write this in dollars. So you're going to write 500 dollars is equal to then our rule is anti-clockwise. I start from the left, I divide, then I multiply. So I'm going to start from the left. I have 15.59. I divide. You divide first. You divide. I divide by 1. Then you multiply. Multiply by 500. So it means it will be 7,795 rands. So this will be your answer. You go anti-clockwise, take the number, divide first, then multiply. Then you get your answer. Okay. Let's see when you are uh, asked to exchange two rates, a dollar to a pound. Let's see that. Okay. If you are asked to change $85 to pounds, when you look at, they've given you a scale of uh, one pound is two, 20 rand 41 cents. So the scale, there's no scale for pound to dollar. So what you do, you start by changing both these, the, 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 the dollars and the pounds, they must be equal to the same thing. So you're going to make them equal to one rand. We're going to start with, one, with um, a dollar. The scale is one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar. One dollar is equal to 15 rand, 59 cents. So I want to find one rand. So I write the rand here. I divide, then I multiply. So I'm going to have one divide by 15.59 multiplied by 1 so 
my dollar is one rand is equals to zero comma zero six four one four three six i'm writing as many decimals as possible so that my answer is as accurate as possible okay now i have uh, one well, one rent is that much dollars so i'm gonna find the pound now okay i write my scale my scale is one pound is equals to 20 rand 408 so i want one rent one rent I divide, then I multiply. All right. One divide by twenty, comma four zero eight times one. So it's zero comma zero four nine zero 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 three nine. Okay. So one rand is equal to that much pounds, right? Now, when you look at this one, you have a rand and a rand. So these two things, you can equate them because they are equal to the same thing. So let's do that. Okay, so 0 0,0641436 is equal to... 0 0,0490039. Okay, what was I given? I was given dollars. So I am here. Five dollars. So I'm gonna start going. No, 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 no. You start from the left. I go from here to there. I divide. Then I multiply. So we'll have 0 0,049,0039. I divide 0 0,064,1436. Then I multiply by 85. So, is equals to 64. Pounds ninety-four cents. So you took that, you divide, and then you multiply, and then you got your answer. So this is your answer. This method works every time. It's just that in this question you are not given um the 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 ratio that they're asking you to to change to pounds. So you dollars to pounds. So you first by letting them be equal to one rent one rent and then you equate them and then you get your answer. But that method of starting from the left, divide, then multiply, it works every time. And I find it that is not that difficult. Thank you for watching. This is the end of our lesson.